just a quick look in the garage. I've already uh, uh, done this before, but just to update where I'm at on the T67. There's going to be an A's game with uh, Riley Walters. Um, the crew may have advanced some since the last time I put a game up. Uh, the commander has six cents and he's working on camouflage. The gunner has camouflage and working on snapshot. The driver has camouflage working on smooth ride. The radio operator has camouflage and working on situational awareness. And the loader has camouflage and working on repairs. I mentioned before how much I really enjoy the uh, USTD line. I recently put up a uh, ice game in the uh, M8A1, the Tier 4, and I know I've put up a couple in the Tier 6 uh, Hellcat. And eventually I'm going to start playing the slow moving T28 prototype. Uh, and the Scorpion, uh, well, what can I say? I, I've, I've I've played 15 games in it and only won 20% in it, so uh, I'm doing something wrong. So I'm still on the uh, uh, front part of the learning curve on the Scorpion, I suppose. So uh, just uh, the T67 is a very uh, fast tank, top speed 61, traverse speed is a bit slow at 32, and the hull uh, or uh, turret traverse is also uh, a bit slow. Uh, the armor, you really can't count on the armor much uh, of anything. Uh, at the tiers it's going to see uh, 25 front armor or turret armor is not really going to do much unless you just get extremely fortunate. On equipment I've got a shell rammer, I have a gun line drive and I use binoculars. I really like to use the view range on this uh, T67 try to stay away from them. so uh, with the binoculars get 438 uh, on the view range. Equipment wise I have uh, the small consumable, small repair kit, small med kit and manual fire extinguisher. I run 25 regular rounds, uh, 15 uh, premium rounds, 5 HE rounds and I don't fire gold rounds very often in the T67. seems to be able to pin just about anything that it can hit. Alright, so enough of looking in the garage, let's take a look at the game. Alright, I am platooned up with Nippon in his Tier 5 British Tank Destroyer, the AT-2, and Drugi, who's in his Tier 5 German uh, Tank Destroyer, the Stug 3G, and we are on Redshire. So I roll over here on this ridge line and try to set up a sniping position so I can support the uh, east side of the map, uh, the 7, 8, 9, and 0 line uh, along the AB if they roll over there to start heavy. My two platoon mates are uh, rolling over there on the 9-0 and looks like the T-67 to my left pulled up a little bit too far and almost died. Down to 85 hit points already. So nothing much is going to happen here uh, at first till uh, some targets start coming out. Let's find another target. Everything's just at the edge of my render range, so I've got to pull up a little bit and see if I can get any shots off the BDR or the SU-85. Three Lee is behind the hill. Finally start shooting at something at SU-85. Open that BDR G1B will back up enough. Uh, let me get some shots in on it. Doesn't seem like he's going to. Got a uh, slow moving Churchill Heavy has <laughs> decided to join us on the hill over here. Team. 
Let's see if the gate shots on it. And it appears to be behind the building. Yes, it's in the castle over there. No shots on it. Now we're down five tanks. I'm gonna have, eventually have to get into the battle here. I don't see the target. So we'll green. And I see that T-67 pushing down on the church here. I get one shot into him. There's kill. There's another kill on the VW-2. The T-67 has crashed the hill and gone down there after the trip hill. So I'm going to try to roll over there real quick, get shots into it. So he drives, and he thinks I'm on top of the hill, and there's another kill. I believe there's three. And I took a hit from the 85, but I couldn't shoot him off. Another kill. Oh, now I've got to deal with this KV-1. You can see that slow turret traverse on here, so I've got to try to pop out and uh, hit this KV-1 before he hits me. Then I see the stock. One and can I kill him? No. I'm behind the building. Stuck. Another kill. Now I need to hit this KV-1 before he hits me. Seven kills. And now I've got to get back to the base as fast as I can. I have a minute, so because this is a very speedy little tank destroyer, I have plenty of time to get there. Pretty sure that that is a T14 because normally your arties don't go with cap for you. He misses. Then another shot while oh, he's reloaded. And it bounced that way. Okay, now since he's disappeared, I need to change the angle on him. So I'm going to move around and hopefully catch him with his turret pointed the wrong way. Nice reload on these. And he's moving on around behind the building, so I've got to flank over a bit. Reset him again. So I have all the time in the world. Still um, over seven and a half minutes left in the game, so I still have the game, basically. And once again, I disappeared. I'm going to try to change the angle again. So it looks like he's moved over behind the building since he's not lighting up. I'm going to see if I can come at him from a different side. And he seems to be focused on the SU-85 now. Which is good, because I can finish him off with my rabbit holders. There's eight kills. <laughs> and only one tank left, and that's the 
party that just missed me. And I'm not going to plan to give him a, another chance to shoot me. But it would be nice to get 9 kills. And of course they already always has over there in the A12, AB12 corner. The SU-85 says, Artie is mine. He's going to let me go get the kill. Which is great. <laughs> nice. I always love friendly teams. And see if I can figure out which way he's pointing the gun. And of course he's pointing at me. And somebody just fired. SU-85 is coming up. Now the bad news is I get the shot into him with the SU-122. Rams the SU-85 and dies. <laughs> so the SU-85 gets a kill. So anyway, that's my ace and the T-67 and Radley Walters. Thanks for watching. All right, taking a look at the after battle results. It was an ace mastery. I received bruiser, arsonist, fire for effect, Radley Walters, Defender by reducing the uh, cap points where that T14 was over there, high caliber, and a top gun. Uh, take a look at the team score number one in damage with 2023, eight kills, 1208 uh, base experience. Um, Drugi in the Stug 3 had 521 and one kill. Nippon in the AT2, 324 damage and one kill. 10 kills total for the platoon. Uh, looking at the detailed reports, I fired 29 times. I hit 23. 22 of them pinned. Total damage 2,023. Uh, from a distance of more than 300 meters, my sniping uh, damage 313. I received one hit, one pin. I spotted one vehicle. I shot 10 different vehicles and killed 8. Damage due to my assistance 164. Uh, defense points on the base, 100 uh, defense points. Distance travel, 3.44 kilometers. I received 38,526 credits with premium. After repair and resupplying ammunition, I made a profit of 24,032 uh, silver. Uh, XP with premium, 1,812. Uh, personal mission payout, 544. Was a times 5. Uh, victory for total XP of 9,604 XP, 450 free XP. Battle lasted 9 minutes and 17 seconds. As always, I appreciate any feedback and comments on the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. All right.